So you a policeman now? Because them men need weapons to do their job. What kind of job you got, you need a gun? It's not like that. Then what's it like, Demetrius? Mother's love can only go so far. Uh, I'm a cold, hi, Russell. Oh, what's uh, up, bro? Russell, it's funny, like I was just talking about, before I even knew that you was in the series, I, was I had a friend in town, I was telling him this story about 12 years ago when I interviewed you on like a season finale at Lincoln Heights. It was an earthquake scene and it was a real earthquake that happened. You remember that? that I do remember that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I sure that'll do. That was my first LA earthquake. I was telling him about, I was like, yo, I the next time I talk to Russell, I'm gonna mention. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but but great to see you guys play these characters. It's great to put like um, the the family story around um, this drama that's that's dealing with crime. Like I, I know we they talked about a little yesterday. You being from Oakland and you being from Chicago, um, we always grew up with some type of kingpin, right? I mean, did you mm -hmm. know about the kingpins in in the street McCall where you grew up and 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 Russell? I know you spoke about that yesterday for yours. Uh, um, for me, I can't lie. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. So, but Russell can speak more on that one. No, nah, I mean, listen, I, I didn't see none. I heard all about them. You know what I mean? Like you heard family members talking about so-and-so and family members talking about where the spot was when you, when I was young. And then as I got older, going I through high school and whatnot, Family, you know, friends talking about yo where they live. This is what's this is what's going down. It's the hot spot, all that kind of stuff like that. Um, but again, you know, I think for 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 myself and Nicole, like we're we're sponges. You know what I mean? So like where we we take in all these experiences and 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 just absorb them. You know, so it's like you know I didn't have to do it or experience to like to know how to how to draw from it. You know what I mean? And you know, it's like, you know, growing up, like just all these different kind of cats you ran into back in the day. It was like, I remember when I was going to like, um, when I was at, in the in the rec center, like I was like seven, eight through like 12. And like the cats, like who were like your counselors, these cats used to smoking cigarettes and then going, you know, smoking weed and coming back. Like they up here teaching you football and kickball. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like all kind of different dynamics that happened back in the day that was just regular. And then now you, you know, you look back and you remember people used to show up at the park and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you hear stories about what was going on back then. You just kind of draw from that a little bit. Uh, McCole, I, I, I know that both of you guys have done a lot of great work. I mean, you with Courage on the Fire and She Hate Me and all type of uh, um, great projects you worked on. I want to know how you feel about the industry now with these streaming services and these series that now feel more like extended movies. I mean, has the the kind of content that, the kind of stories we could tell, like how has that changed over the, the length of your career? I mean, it seems like these are new opportunities. Oh yeah, I, I think, um, you know, back in the eighties, you know, film and television was really different. And now, you know, the streaming services have opened up uh, so much opportunity um, and opportunity to be so much more creative and uh, have so much more depth. Um, it's just great that we get to um, work on this show with uh, multi-dimensional characters um, that just show all these beautiful sides of, of Black life. Um, and, you know, uh, it was different, you know, uh, family was was just different in the 80s you didn't get to see the light and the dark it was like every everything had to be um um more sugar-coated back then and so it's nice to really um express different levels of the truth and, and russell do you approach a character differently when you're doing research now when i mean if you're telling something over a two-hour feature then when you're when you're expanding it for uh kind of like a 10-hour um mm -hmm. Drama, like, do you do you approach the research to a character any different as an actor? A a absolutely, and you know, and to just echo Nicole's sentiment, man, like, listen, we we have a we have a different opportunity as actors. Like, I feel like, like that the that my my my, my um the work and the craft is appreciated at a different level now than it was when we first got in the business. I, I feel like, and I can insist from we've always had we've always had the ability. 
but never the opportunity. You know, me and Nicole come from theater. We've worked with August Wilson. I've worked Lynn Nodden, like all these different playwrights. And when you're talking about plays and playwriting, you get to see a three-dimensionality of roles and characters. We walked in, we walked in to this business ready to do that, but the business wasn't ready for our, for our talent and our ability. And I think now us and our, and our peers are getting an opportunity to show the full depth and breadth uh, of, of their talent and their, their ability on display. And so as a byproduct, we're able to tell better stories and we're able to tell them in our voice, we're able to tell them our way in a way that we, as black folks, we look, we look, step back, we go, that looks familiar to me. That that's honoring me. That's speaking to me. And, and I think it's in, and, and so we now, as you said, we can, t- we can say, we can show the light and the dark. We can show the positive and the negative. We can show the dichotomy of, of who we are and really tell an honest and give an honest portrayal of what that is. And so in that, I, ha- I have to approach it with nothing but uh, a truthful sense of who these people are and, and pulling it from, from, from real black life. And, and, and so, but, but that wasn't the case when I first got into business, you know what I mean? So we're talking about the last seven to 10 where brothers and sisters can really dig deep and, and, and show you something and where you step back and you go, now that's something I can feel. Well, I felt that on the screen as you playing uh, the, uh, the the parents of, of Meech and, and T. I felt I felt like y'all showing the, the both dimensions, and I appreciate y'all craft and all the work that y'all put in in y'all career. I can't wait to see all the other work that y'all got coming. So keep on doing your thing. We'll keep on watching. And, appreciate. Uh, it. I'm glad we had this interview without a little earthquake, Russell. I mean, I know that was twelve years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'll that one up.